For our lead issue this week, vital support and aid continue to pour into Marawi for its rehabilitation. The latest to come to Ford to rebuild Marawi City is the country's biggest hybrid rice seeds producer, SL Agritech Corporation. Andre Ko has the story. SL Agritech Corporation has just partnered with ARMM or the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. The biggest hybrid rice seeds producer in the Philippines will set up a 50-hectare hybrid rice model farm in Marawi. The only problem now is to locate a suitable site that is big enough for the model farm to be set up. In a message to the Marawi people, SL Agritech Chairman Henry Lim Bonleong said that his company SL Agritech will put up the money for this techno demo model farm to inspire hope among the residents of the city. The production cost of the model farm by SL Agritech estimate will be 30,000 pesos per hectare. The company will undertake the project together with Go Negocio, the LGU and the Department of Agriculture. Our Biswatch correspondent has more of the story. A model farm is nothing new in the country. However, model farms traditionally cover only 1 to 2 hectares of land. In the case of Marawi, which was totally destroyed in the aftermath of the five-month war, this is not applicable. Marawi City clearly needs a much bigger land area. In this case, SL Agritech is ready to set up a 50-hectare hybrid rice bottle farm in the city, which is also known as the summer capital of the south because of its cool weather and higher elevation. However, even as some rice farmers grow traditional rice varieties in Marawi, SL Agritech says Marawi is not much of a rice farming location and farmers need to be educated on proper farm management. Some of the rice fields are plagued by disease and weeds so the company will be sending technical experts to help the rice farmers. The rehabilitation cost for Marawi is estimated at 150 billion pesos according to Budget Secretary Benjamin Diokno. The infrastructure and economic rehabilitation of the devastated city could also last three years. If we take it one step at a time and with the help of responsible and concerned individuals and corporate citizens, this is most certainly doable. <laughs>